what is up guys this is your boy superior samuel and before the video begins i just want to say thank you to all the supporters thank you for supporting the channel we crushed our sub goal of 200 and got to 500 subscribers like what like hold on like bro bro um yeah i i'm truly grateful and i just thank you guys so much for just rocking with me and just supporting the channel um this is like the best community i've ever been in you guys are just like you guys are lit like i don't know what else to say like it, it's just amazing um i do not take this for granted at all like i truly truly am grateful um this thank you thank you so much uh the grind does not stop okay i'm just gonna keep pushing out content and you know just just keep getting better and better at it and yeah roll to 1k that's all i have to say at this point if i keep going on i'm gonna sound emotional and corny and i don't i don't want you guys to hear me uh say all that but um yeah thank you so much i i'm, I'm shaking right now uh words cannot describe how i feel and you know i honestly did not believe this could happen um but you guys made it a reality so thank you so much um but yeah let's continue with the video so our first topic of discussion is the cast and build items more specifically the cast items a lot of people have mixed feelings about the clothing that we're getting because they don't feel diverse and on top of that they feel like male sims are getting left out again now i can't speak on that last one because i haven't played the game so i would have to like physically go into the game and see like what we're getting for our male sims but from what i saw on the website um it does look like they you know made sure that male sims got a decent amount of clothing like they don't feel left out but it's only from what i saw i would have to physically play the game and go into cast and see like what we're actually getting um but i do agree with the diversity i feel like they should start kind of modeling their clothing after the worlds that they make so if they want to do like uh i don't know like uh england they would try to figure out like what are the like trends what's like what are people wearing in england you know what i mean um i feel like they will kind of like do their own spin on what a world should look like in sims and then they'll kind of just do their own type of like fits like their own sims team fits and like 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 i said uh i do like the outfits i like all the clothes that we are getting it feels cozy it looks like colorful which i feel like is uh, almost every expansion pack we get all the items look colorful and everything but um it does give me those generation vibes and like it does fit a family like base game pack so like i'm not complaining about the actual items like i think they're cool but are they diverse no you know and then on top of that if it's true that um male sims are getting left out again it is going to be a big disappointment because for me personally like as a like a player who plays sims um i do find it hard to find clothing for my male sims and i mostly play with male sims so obviously i want my sims to be dripped out i want them to be drippy but it's hard to find drip when there's such little of it so hopefully that isn't the case with this pack because i'm already like i already have high expectations like i'm sorry i try to be cool call me collected with this pack but i can't because like there's just too much excitement around there there's so many just features coming to the pack that i just can't contain my excitement anymore so at this point like hopefully um we, we will get like you know more male sim clothing because i know a lot of people have been complaining about that from previous packs and again just that more diversity like we don't have to have the same reskin stuff because i did look at some of the stuff and i know some people overall did like the cast items even though there's no diversity but they did feel like some of the stuff was reskins and i kind of see that too with some of the clothing um so hopefully they don't like you know do that with this pack or the like, future packs um i mean they already done it i guess but hopefully it isn't too bad because like i said overall i like what i see it feels kind of brand new it feels modern but it also feels like you know like like family friendly cozy outfits that you would wear in a family gameplay pack or gameplay they know what i'm trying to say sorry expansion pack but yeah it's just kind of concerning because um i feel like this is the one thing they've continued to do is not add diversity in their clothing like everyone plays the sims differently everyone dresses a certain way like in real life and in game so it's like we need to represent that more because like bro there's so many people so many different people so many different cultures who play the sims and i'm not saying they haven't like um done a good job of like trying like they've tried but they just need to try harder because again it's like it's hard to find clothing that like goes with like what i would wear in real life or versus someone else you know 
um again they are trying because i i see it but it's just it just needs more of that also while we're talking about cast there is a lot of people disappointed that the skin details are only coming to growing together uh people feel that some of the skin details should come in a base game update and i actually do agree with that um everyone is different and unique and you know we all have our own little insecurities or just different stuff that makes us who we are and i feel like we shouldn't have to get that through a paywall i feel like some of the moles and the uh, freckles and the body freckles and all the other stuff should be in the base game update they can obviously do two versions of that they don't have to do like you know everything like they can do like a base game version and then like a premium version for growing together they also did the same thing with high school years they had body hair um that came in the base game update but then they had it for also high school years so um obviously they did that because they knew there would have been backlash because we've been requesting body hair for like forever so i feel like they definitely could have done that here too um yeah it's just you know adds more realism to our sims and it should be in some type of update it shouldn't just be locked away behind the paywall so i do agree with that and hopefully they figure out something i don't know if they're going to ever update the you know and give us that stuff but they definitely should another small uh subtopic before we move on is boarding schools um so boarding schools are not coming to the new expansion pack and i know a lot of people were disappointed about that myself included uh for those who don't know in the sims 2 generations you could send your kids to boarding school there are different uh ones like art military um that's the only ones i know um off the top of my head but you would send them there and then it would come back like older after a while and they'll like i think learn new skills and stuff like that extra topic of discussion is the daycare so um we weren't promised a daycare like they never hinted at that but people were kind of uh disappointed that the daycare job career gig whatever you want to call it there's so many different terms i could use wasn't added to the expansion pack or even in a base game update with infants and again that would have been perfect to have in um growing together or just a base game update because we're getting two family type of updates to the sims 4 and daycare system would have been like really cool we do have that as like a job as a part-time job but that's like a rabbit hole you kind of just you know disappear and then come back so there's like no gameplay there um i mean there's gameplay but you know what i mean you don't actually see it it's just yeah so it's like like damn like it's a damn shame they couldn't have had that um for those who don't know in sims 3 generations they did add the, the daycare uh profession so like um sims from your neighborhood that you that you see all the time would like come to your house and drop the kids off and there was such cool gameplay stuff that would happen like sometimes they would call or like send a message saying hey like i'm gonna be late can you watch him for like an extra hour um and then they would like pay you um you would watch like toddlers and i think it would get to the point where you have to start watching kids or maybe the other way around i don't know like who's harder to take care of in the sims 3 but yeah there's so many different just gameplay stuff like happening in that so I, that would have been such a cool thing to have in the sims 4 um but clearly they didn't add that um so i'm just hoping they do like in a free game update i don't think we should have to pay for that just because they've had given they had what <laughs> they have given us free gigs in the past um like we've gotten freelancer type of careers and that would fit perfect with the daycare like profession or gig or whatever you want to call it in this game so hopefully they add it because to be honest like this goes on to my next topic i want i wanted funerals in the game but after hearing the whole daycare thing i was like yeah that sounds just so much better to have in, like if i had to choose between one i'm sorry but i'm choosing the daycare stuff just because it fits the theme of what we're getting and it just makes sense so hopefully they add it because i would like genuinely want to see like like sims uh sims i genuinely want to see um sim tubers uh people who play sims on youtube play that profession i would play it for myself but it would, it would be cool to see like um that like just gameplay wise on to our next topic the funerals um so like i said before yeah i personally wanted funerals to come in this pack um i feel like it's been a long time now uh and we still haven't gotten funerals among other things but yeah i feel like funerals would have been perfect to get around this time um this pack is called growing together so everyone in the family is going to different life experiences and we're all growing together in the family household and like death is a part of that um it's a part of the sims and i feel like it should be in there i definitely don't want to see my first funeral stuff pack or expansion pack or game pack in this i want it to be a free game update 
correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure sims 3 had um funerals as a free thing in the base game it wasn't like like behind the paywall so i don't see why we can't have funerals i don't know why it wasn't in like an early game uh i, was, I don't know why it's not in the base game but it should have been like an early base game update and we still don't have that which is kind of concerning um i don't know maybe they don't want to add it because it's dark but they literally add like new deaths to the game all the time so why can't we have funerals you know to pay respects i just i just i just yeah there's disconnect i just don't get it so that is uh kind of like where i'm at and this is like the information that i compiled today um once again thank you guys so much for the support let me know how you guys feel about just some of the stuff that i've mentioned today um the game is coming out so we can't really speak on like what features we would want because we haven't played it yet so if you guys want to come back to this video at another time and date and let me know that would be awesome i definitely would like to have a discussion about this in the comment section again thank you so much uh stay cool stay awesome stay simming and have a nice day